Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Stacy from the YMCA. Today we're going to read a story from our Healthy Schools, Healthy Communities curriculum developed by the Michigan Fitness Foundation. Our story today is called Germs Make Me Sick, written by Melvin Berger, illustrated by Mary Lynn Hefner. What do you learn from the title? What should this sick girl do from avoiding spreading her germs? Right, maybe she should stay at home if she's feeling sick, cover her mouth when she coughs, wash her hands. When was the last time you were sick? How can you help yourself stay healthy? Right, you can wash your hands before you eat, stay physically active, and eat healthy foods. Let's read our story and see how germs can make us sick. You wake up one morning, but you don't feel like getting out of bed. Your arms and legs ache, your head hurts, you have a fever and your throat is sore. I'm sick, you say. I must have caught a germ. Everyone knows that germs can make you sick, but not everyone knows how. Germs are tiny living things. They are too small to see with your eyes alone. In fact, a line of a thousand germs could fit across the top of a pencil. There are many different kinds of germs but there are two that usually make you sick, are bacteria and viruses. Under a microscope, some bacteria look like round balls, others are straight as rods, still others are twisted in spiral shapes. Viruses are far tinier than bacteria. Some look like balls with spikes sticking out all sides, Others look like a loaf of bread or like tadpoles. There are even some that look like metal screws with spider legs. Germs such as bacteria and viruses are found everywhere. They are in the air you breathe, the food you eat, in the water you drink, and on everything you touch. They are even on your skin and in your body. Although germs are all around, they do not always make you sick. Many germs are not harmful. Also, your body keeps out harmful germs most of the time. Your skin blocks the germs. As long as there are no cuts or scrapes on your skin, germs can't get in. Your nose helps too. It is lined with tiny hairs. The hairs catch many of the germs you breathe in. They push them back out. The inside of your mouth and throat is always wet. Germs often get stuck there. They don't go any further. Yet some germs do slip in once in a while. Your friend has a cold, she sneezes, germs fly out. You breathe in the air, some of her germs get in your lungs. That's why we need to cover our mouth and our nose. You take a sip of your cousin's soda. Her germs are on the straw. A few of the germs may get into your stomach. You're riding a bike. You fall and scrape your knee. Germs from the ground may get into your skin. But even when harmful bacteria and viruses get in your body, they don't always get sick. That's because your body has ways to fight germs. The white cells in your blood go after any germs that sneak in. Usually these cells kill the germs before they can do any harm. Your blood also has special proteins that attack germs. They're called antibodies. The white blood cells and antibodies don't always get rid of the germs though. Some germs stay in the body and make you sick. 
What if the germs in your body are bacteria? They quickly start multiplying. Each one becomes two bacteria, then they become four, and so on. In a few hours, there may be millions of bacteria in your body. That the bacteria gives off waste products. Some of these wastes are poisons. The poisons can damage or kill cells that make up your body. When enough cells are harmed, you feel sick. You may have pains and aches, run a fever, or break out in a rash. You may cough or sneeze or throw up. These signs tell you that the cells are being damaged or killed in your body. Some bacteria give off poisons that stay close to the bacteria. Bacteria in your mouth are like that. Their poisons attack only your teeth and cause cavities. It does not go into other places in your body. Earaches and boils on the skin can also be caused by bacteria whose poisons stay in one place. Other bacteria give off poisons that move around the body. One kind of bacteria lives in your lungs, but it gives off poisons that are carried around in the blood. These bacteria may give you a headache or a sore stomach. Some other bacteria have poisons in their outer coats. When they often touch different cells, their poisons hurt or destroy them. As the cells die, you feel sick. What if viruses get into your body? Viruses are different from bacteria. They don't give off poisons. Each virus forces its way into the body's cell. It disappears inside. For a while, nothing seems to be happening. Then suddenly the viruses break out of the cell. Hundreds of new viruses tumble out. Each virus finds another cell and digs its way in. Then these cells pop open and more viruses pour out. Soon there are millions of viruses in your body. The viruses spread out. As they do, you feel worse and worse. Viruses bring you colds, you know, flu, measles, mumps, and chicken pox, and lots of other illnesses. Though bacteria and viruses can make you sick, you usually begin to feel better after a day or two. Your body has beaten the germs. At times though, you feel sick or you stay sick for days, then you should see a doctor. Doctors try to find out what germs are making you sick. What hurts, they ask. Let's take a look. Perhaps they swab your throat with cotton. Then they send the cotton with the germ on to the lab. Or they may take a few drops of blood from your fingertip or arm. That also goes to the lab to be tested. Your doctor gets a report from the lab. It tells whether the germs are bacteria or viruses. If the bacteria are making you sick, the doctor usually prescribes some drug. The drug will either kill the bacteria or stop them from growing. Doctors do not yet have drugs to cure diseases caused by viruses, but they can give you a shot to prevent some of these diseases. If you do get sick with a virus, the doctor may give you some medicine anyway. It won't cure you, but it might help to make you feel better or protect you against bacteria that might make you feel sicker. When germs make you sick, your doctor might tell you to stay in bed. Bed rest makes it easier for your body to fight the germs. So does eating and drinking healthy foods and drinks. Once you are well, you will want to stay that way. There are lots of ways to keep healthy. Rules for good health. Number one, stay away from anyone with a cold or the flu. Number two, wash your hands with soap and warm water to get rid of germs. Number three, eat good healthy foods. Number four, brush your teeth after meals. Number five, get plenty of rest. Number six, do some exercises every day. 
Number seven, visit your doctor and dentist regularly for checkups. And number eight, be sure to get the shots that you need. Germs do make you sick sometimes, but you can help yourself to be fit as a fiddle all the rest of the time. The end. How many of those eight rules for good health can you remember? Thank you all for listening to our story today, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.